Nothing beats that expectant moment when you're waiting on a tent and right at the last minute the guy cannot find it in the van. He's given up in the back of the truck, now he's looking in the cabin on the passenger seat. Nearly gave in looking for this and we found it. So there you go, that's what I've been waiting on. A black diamond distance tent with adapters for your poles. I think it should be about 700 grams. It's one of the more sexily packaged products. Quite nicely done actually. Okay, so what we got? One, two, three, four, six stakes, sort of uh, DAC, DACV stakes, yep. And Dyneema, two of those guy lines, I think, which will come off the side by the poles. Basically, these strap onto the pole handles like that. Excuse the tape, that's just a repair on my pole. So they just kind of feed through these wee plastic inserts, and then, and then that's it. Right, I've pegged the top two, the bottom two, and they've got little stiffeners in them, like a built-in pole, just to give the foot a bit more head height, and also to make the vent work, because you can see there's a vent inside here. Right, okay, so a wee bit of faffing about. Put the little brow pole in, and that inserts into here and into there. You put on the two clips, one and two, that tensions the roof, and then just, you don't actually peg here, I think you just use the spikes on the poles, and then there's a guy in line here, which we'll put on on either side. I've also just tensioned out the rear guys as well, you can see how the little poles hold upright. Right, I've added on the extra guy line to the side on the wee loop. Just taped on. And you've got a wee thin foot vent and the roof vent, which is a wee bit worryingly. There's kind of quite a big gap there. I'd, I suspect rain might get driven in there, but we'll see. And then right at the apex of the tent is a wee mesh pocket for phone, head torch, etc., which is quite well placed for lighting the tent up. And then you've got this mesh vent, which you can open up. I wasn't going to do that just now because it's kind of wet, but anyway. So that's quite good for venting, in theory, if it works. Right, I think here is the crux with this tent. It's the foot box is so low and the tent is so short that inevitably your bag is going to be rubbing against the fly sheet. So there's going to be some moisture transfer so the only way you're going to sleep comfortably in here as far as I can see is by putting your waterproof jacket over the bottom of your sleeping bag. Now I don't mind trying that but that's for some people I would imagine a bit of a deal breaker in a single skin. And this has been mentioned in some other channels before. So, well, it's an interesting one. I think dimensionally they haven't quite worked this out. So I think in summary before testing this in the field, um, I think it's too short and too low at the foot end. I'm in two minds whether to send this back without trying it or whether just to test it in the field and always use a jacket over my sleeping bag. Because as a design, I actually quite like it. I think it's very simplistic, quite robust. Um, under a kilo, which is what I really look for in a simple summer three season lightweight tent where you try and travel as light as you can, but it feels quite strong. So it's got a lot going for it, it's just dimensionally is a wee bit wrong I think, um, and there has been some issues with the venting, but that's un untried yet and I don't mind mopping up moisture now and again, so we'll see how that goes. So, uh, it be interested to get your comments below, do you think I should keep it or return it? Keep it and try it. Or send it back without trying it. Is that unfair on Black Diamond?